Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can download and install brackets on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. Now to download, just open your browser and search for brackets. Let me tell you that brackets is a free and open source source code editor for Windows operating system and it is specially designed for web development. So if you are a web developer and you want a good source code editor, then you can use brackets. Now to download, simply open the link from brackets.io. Don't worry about the download link, I'll put the download link in the description box. So this is the official website from where you can download brackets. Now to download the latest version of brackets source code editor, simply click on this download option. And here you can see it is downloading, it is around 84 MB, so it will take some time to download. Let me complete the download process and after that I'll show you how you can set up brackets for web development. Here you can see our download has been completed, now simply open this installer file. Let me minimize the browser. So here we have the setup window, here we have to select our language, then click on next. And here we have to select our installation location where we want to install brackets. To select the installation location, you can simply click on this three dot and you can browse your location. But for now, I'm just going to keep it default and here simply accept the license agreement. Then click on next. Here we have two type of installation. One is topical installation and another one is custom installation. So if you want to customize your installation, then you can simply click on custom. And here we have some component. Simply select all these components then click on modify and here you can see it is installing brackets on windows 11 so it will take some time to install wait until the installation process complete here you can see that bracket has been successfully installed here we have run option if you want to run brackets you can simply click on this run option or else you can simply click on this finish button now to open brackets simply on the search option search for brackets so here we have our bracket application so if you want to pin this application to the taskbar then you can simply click on pin to taskbar and it will create a launch icon you can simply click on this launch icon to launch bracket when you open bracket for the first time it will show you windows security alert here simply click on allow access so this is the interface of bracket now let me maximize the window so here we have a index.html file so here you can see here we have some HTML code. I had already told you that brackets is specially designed for web development. Now if you want to know which programming language are supported on brackets, then here simply click on this HTML option. Here we have a drop down option, simply click here. And here you will find all the programming language that are supported on brackets. Here you will only find the programming language that are helpful for web development, such as Java, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, PHP and other programming language. Now if you want to preview your HTML code, then here we have a live preview option. Here simply click on this live preview option and here we have welcome to live preview panel. Here you can see that live preview feature only works on Google Chrome browser. So if you want to use live preview option, you have to install Google Chrome browser on your system. So I already have Google Chrome browser installed on my system. So I can simply click on OK. And here you can see that it is rendering my HTML file. So this way you can do live preview. Now let me show you how you can create your HTML file. For that, here simply click on file option. Here click on new. And here you have to write your HTML code. Before writing HTML code, you have to save your file. For that, simply click on save. And here click on save as. And here select the location where you want to save your file. Say for example, I want to save it on my desktop. I'll simply select my desktop and here I'll name my file. Say for example, test. And here you have to write .html extension because we are going to create HTML file. Then click on save. Here you can see here we have test.html file. Now here we can write our HTML code. Let me write some HTML code. Here you can see that here I had written some HTML code. Now to preview this HTML code, first of all, we have to save our file. For that, simply click on file, then click on save all. Now after that, you can use live preview option to preview this HTML code. Here you can see that it is rendering on my Google Chrome browser. So here we have our basic website. 
So this way you can download and install brackets on Windows 11. So that's it for this video. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Bye for now. See you next video.